On a quiet Wednesday evening in May 2015, a horrific crime shook the small village of Ntavam Shope in Lower Gweru. A man named Muziwe Tuhlumwane, a 27-year-old, brutally murdered his wife, Winnie Tuhlumwane, a 50-year-old, a teacher at a local school. He then took his own life by hanging himself from a tree. But what had driven Muziwe to, to commit such a heinous act? According to the relatives and neighbors, the couple had been arguing over missing cattle. Muziwe to had allegedly sold four head of cattle and spent the money on alcohol and other women. Winnie, who was his late brother's wife, confronted him about this irresponsible behavior and demanded that he return the cattle or pay her back. Muziwe to, who was reportedly drunk and angry, grabbed an axe and attacked Winnie, chopping off her head and then slicing it into pieces. He then left the bloody scene and went to a nearby bush where he hanged himself with a rope. The shocking murder-suicide was discovered by some children who were playing by the couple's homestead. They alerted the village chief, Mafanyana Magodi, who called the police. When the police arrived, they found the gruesome remains of Wini and Muziwetu and recovered the eggs and rope that were used in the crime. The police launched an investigation and ruled out any foul play or involvement of a third party. They concluded that Muziwetu acted alone and was motivated by rage and jealousy. The villagers were stunned and saddened by the tragic incident. They described Winnie as a hard-working and respected teacher who cared for her students and the community. They said Muziwetu was troubled. They said Muziwetu was a troubled and violent man who had a history of domestic violence and alcoholism. They also expressed sympathy for the couple's four children who were left orphaned and traumatized by the loss of their parents. The children were taken in by their relatives, who hoped to provide them with some comfort and financial support. The crime by Muziwetu from Loa Gweru was one of the most horrific and senseless acts of violence ever recorded in our country. It raised questions about the prevalence and causes of domestic violence, the role of alcohol and substance abuse, and the need for mental health awareness and intervention. It also highlighted the importance of respecting and protecting the rights of women who often bear the brand of abuse and violence in patriarchal societies. May their souls continue to rest in peace.